Currently, to maintain CPAP in the helmet, 
without rebreathing, the gas flow is between 40 and 60 litres per minute. If we wish to give Carla 50% oxygen, we would therefore require to run an oxygen flow between 20 and 30 litres per minute, or thereabouts. When you have many patients on CPAP through a helmet, this can put an extra strain on the hospital oxygen supply. And the South Med Susie Hood has been specifically designed to offer an alternative that allows us to deliver higher FiO2s at lower oxygen flow rates. To illustrate this point, we're currently running 15 litres of supplemental oxygen into the helmet and we can see that we're only achieving inspired oxygen concentrations of 32%. So next we're going to apply the Fisher and Pico Airvo 2 nasal cannula to the patient. So temporarily we're going to take the hood off. So Louise is going to apply the nasal cannula to Carla. It's always best to get someone that does the job regularly to do it. Next we're going to put the helmet on and Sarah and Louise are very carefully going to place the helmet over Carla's head. I'm going to take the tube from the side of Carla's head and we're going to apply it to this port. And we'll show you later in the video, this is specifically designed to fit perfectly into the port here. It clicks in place like that. And now we can apply the straps. We're now going to apply the free breathe valve and the helmet will start to inflate. I'm going to reinflate the head cushion. and the neck cushion and now we're going to connect the airvo to the nasal cannulae. When we connect this the CO2 will tend to zero. What we can see is with a flow of 15 litres per minute of oxygen via the airvo we're actually delivering an FiO2 to Carla of between 60 and 70 percent. That's more than double the FiO2 we achieved when we were running the same flow of oxygen directly into the helmet. Finally, what's really important to note is that we're delivering high FiO2s to Carla of warm humidified gases ideal for maintaining ciliary function and expectoration of sputum whilst using very conservative oxygen flows and delivering effective CPAP. Carla's now been in the helmet for around two hours. How is it in there Carla? Thank you very much.